PyTorch is a machine learning framework used for image classification and neural network processing. PyTorch is a Python-based open-source machine learning implementation based on the Torch library. It is one of the most popular AI library among industry and academic researchers worldwide. Hey everyone, you are already watching Simply Learn and in today's video, we are going to be learning all about what is PyTorch. If you love watching videos like this, do hit the subscribe button to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. If you want to become a deep learning expert, consider deep learning with Kairos and TensorFlow by Simply Learn and master those necessary skills. Check out the link in the description for more details. Before we get started further, I have one simple question for you guys. Which is an open source machine learning library for Python that is entirely based on Torch? And the options are Tensor, PyTorch, NumPy or Python. If you know the answer, please leave them in the comment box below. And now, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. First, let's start with what is PyTorch. Following to that, how does PyTorch work? Then, PyTorch features. Moving ahead, let us know PyTorch benefits. And finally, the use cases of PyTorch. So now, let's start with what is PyTorch. PyTorch is a free and open source Python and Torch machine learning implementation. Deep learning models based on neural networks are currently being developed and trained in a variety of deep learning projects using PyTorch. Because of its ease of use, PyTorch is increasingly being used to create artificial neural network models. PyTorch is used by data scientists for artificial intelligence research and applications. Next, we have how does PyTorch work? To write readable code, PyTorch adheres to Python's distinct and unique coding features. It allows developers to run and test the relevant portions of code immediately rather than waiting for the entire program to finish. Furthermore, it eliminates the need for neural network debuggers, machine learning programmers, and deep learning researchers to run the code in real time without having to wait to see if it works or not. Now we know what PyTorch is and it's working. So moving ahead, let's understand the features of PyTorch. Few mentioned Python features are simple interference, tools and libraries, tensor computation, dynamic graph computation, variables, parameters, modules, and functions. So let's understand each in detail. So like Python, PyTorch has a straightforward user interference. It offers a simple way to use the application programming interference API. The PyTorch framework is very simple to use and run. Next, we have tools and libraries. It is possible to expand PyTorch and support development in fields like computer vision and reinforcement learning by using a wide range of tools and libraries. Next, tensor computation. Tensor computation with a robust GPU graphical processing unit acceleration support equivalent to NumPy. Next, Dynamic graph computation. Dynamic graphs are adaptable and let us examine and change the internals of the graph at any time. The dynamic graph in PyTorch is used. It follows from our declaration of variables that the computational graph is constructed dynamically. So following each training iterations, the graph is rebuilt. Next we have variables. For the purpose of holding the gradient, the variables is enclosed outside the tensor. A computational graphs node is represented by it. Next, we have parameters. Parameters encircle variables. They are used when using a parameter as a tensor, which isn't possible when using a variable is required. And next comes module. Stateful computation module serves as their building blocks. In order to simplify and facilitate the creation of complex, multi-layer neural network, PyTorch offers a large library of models. Next, we have functions. The connections between the two variables are as follows. Functions don't have their memory and don't have any memory to store the state or a buffer. Moving ahead, we have 
PyTorch benefits. Because its syntax and usage is similar to Python, it makes development simple for Python developers to learn and understand. It has an easy to use interface and straightforward Python coding. It includes a large number of libraries and well-known tools that make debugging easier. Then, scalability, strong support on well-known cloud platform, and a small open source focused communities are all available. Next, let's have a look at the use cases of PyTorch. The PyTorch framework is well known for being convenient and adaptable, with example of its more typical use cases, including reinforcement learning, image classification, and neural language processing. So let's learn each in detail. The development of robotics for automation and using PyTorch in business strategy plan to benefit from reinforcement learning's quick and flexible experimentation capabilities. With powerful GPU acceleration, PyTorch makes tensors and dynamic neural networks available. RL machines are designed to learn from experience to make wise decisions and obtain the best rewards. Next, we have image classification. PyTorch employs an image classification algorithm that requires developers to categorize an image based on its visual content. A computer vision application, for example, can use an algorithm to determine whether a given image contains an object, such as a car or bicycle. Object detection is simple for the human eye, but difficult for computer vision application. Next is Natural language processing. NLP is a technology. The main component of NLP are speech recognition, optical character recognition, machine translation, and information retrieval. Computers can comprehend spoken and written languages with the help of NLP technology. And with that, we come to the end of this video, what is PyTorch? If you like this video, share it with your friends. Before I sign off, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get all the updates. We'll be back with more such interesting videos. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.